What are the application for convection? The first one we used in the design for the electric kettle. So we'll place the heater at the bottom part of the kettle so that it can form the convection current more easily. And the location for the heater or air conditioner. So usually the convection heater will be placed at the floor so that the hot air will rise. But for the air conditioner, we'll place it at the top, nearly the ceiling of the room, so the cold air sink and form the convection current more effectively. These are the design related to the heater and the air conditioner location. Besides, we will use the lid to cover something in order to keep something warm. So that when without the lid, the hot water, the air will rise so that it will transfer the heat away through convection very effectively. So that a lid is used to prevent the formation of convection current in that case in order to reduce the heat loss to the surrounding. And the other case is the freezer without a door. Have you ever observed this kind of freezer in the supermarket? The cold air will come out from the rim, and then the cold air will sink to keep the food cold, and no door is needed. Also, the lamp shade. This kind of lamp shape is open at the top and also open at the bottom. Why we do so? because it can allow the heat air to raise and leave the lamp so that it won't heat up the lamp so much. Another example is the lamp breeze and sea breeze. It's due to the convection current. Lamp breeze means the wind come from the land to the sea, and for sea breeze means the land come from the sea towards the land. And during the daytime, the land is warmer than the sea, so the hot air rise. So the air from the sea will come to replace it and form the sea breeze in that case. And at night, the land is cooler than the sea. So the cool air sink around the land and the air will go out to the sea if form the land breeze in that case. So this is the general idea about the formation of land breeze and sea breeze. So let's put it down in words. The lens has a lower specific heat capacity than the sea. It means that if the lens absorbs the same amount of energy with the sea water at the same time, it will have a larger change in temperature. So that during the daytime, the lens will get heated up faster than the sea water. While at night, the land will also get cooled down faster than the seawater. So this phenomenon can be explained by convection current.